Hi there, I'm Judy Pugach with an update from the Rector Search Committee. I know you all have been patiently waiting for our beautiful parish profile to be published and available for all of you to read. I'm pleased to announce that it is now available on our website. How to get there? stlukeshhi.org. And when you open up the that page, there's a big picture of the bell tower. Right underneath that, it says information for rector search candidates. And directly underneath that is the parish profile. So when you click on that, you read an introduction as to why we even created the parish profile. And then there's a bar that says download profile. If you click on that, you'll have every one of the beautiful 30 pages of our parish profile. I hope you take the time to go through it. It has some remarkable information and all members of our parish are represented through a demographic survey, a listening Sunday, an opinion survey. You might see yourself in some of the ministry pictures that you participate in, but it is a representation of all of the members of St. Luke. Personally, my favorite page is the prayer page, and I would like to thank all of you who submitted prayers. Imagine being a candidate for the position of the new rector of our church, knowing that the people of the parish are already praying for you. These prayers have been in the bulletin, and they are beautifully listed in the parish profile. You know, in Greg's midweek message, he talked about that we have an unfair advantage, a gift or a privilege. And I'm going to say that, yes, indeed, at St. Luke's, we do have an unfair adv advantage because we have some incredible prayer warriors who are praying for the rector search and the arrival of our new rector. And I couldn't thank you all enough for your sacred and beautiful prayers. As you go through the parish profile, you'll see several links. One of the links on the page of our campus is an aerial tour of our campus. It was recently done with a drone video, and I think you're really going to like that. Uh, there's another link to the Hilton Head Chamber of Commerce on the Where We Are page, so a potential candidate might look at schools, hospitals, um, all kinds of other things that a, fa a man with a family would be interested in, library, um, neighborhoods, cost of neighborhoods, security. So if we didn't add it to the profile, we added a link to that information in the profile. And all the links are live, so all you have to do is click on it and you can see everything that we are offering a potential candidate to see as well. Also, at the end of the parish profile, or what I call our landing page, or the not the home page for the church, but the home page for the rector search, is the job application for you to look at, and um, the description of the responsibilities of our new rector. And trust me, that is a very intense job description. Not sure how anyone can do that. All of the links are, if it makes sense to you, interlinked so that if you're on one page, you can navigate to another and vice versa. So it is a great um, profile. It really represents who we are. And I hope you take the time to look it over and let us know what you think. Now that the profile and the application is live, the focus of our search is now more about accepting applications rather than recruiting. Now, I know that's a nuance, but if there's a situation where you have someone who you know, either firsthand or secondhand, who you think would be a good fit for our church, the best thing for you to do is reach out to that Anglican priest and have him go to our website and have him read the parish profile. If that person, he or she, thinks it's a good fit for them, we would ask them to go ahead and either fill out the application or send us an email with some questions. So if you get a name, we're no longer just taking names. We're not necessarily recruiting. We are now actively responding to people who, we, who, we, who actually apply for the job. So why do we ask you to do that? So we keep a good record. The rec you may have seen the email rector search at st. Luke's hhi.org. 
that helps us to keep a record of all incoming communications that goes to a special computer with a special saved server so that we have documentation of everything that comes in and everything that we send out. Along those lines, we really want to respect the privacy of all of the applicants who come to us and are interested in becoming our new rector. So we will be very cautious about reaching out and making sure that that person's integrity of the process is not diminished. Thank you very much for listening. Look for your weekly update in the bulletin. And we really love your prayers for us. Thanks very much.